you were just looking at some footage of this Hanimax model 7771 electronic TV game. I got this from Gumtree about approximately two years ago. I paid a total of 30 Australian dollars, which if you ask me that's a rip off for a electronic TV game. And it has four games, which I just demonstrated, football, squash, practice and tennis. Practice is basically the same as tennis. And on these two sides, we have a left player, right player, which nowadays we call player one, player two, and two spools here, analog controls. And here we have two scoreboards. We have two manual scoreboards, which are basically useless because there's already, already a digital scoreboard built in. So it might have been for a different model. On the left here, we have bat size, small, large. Small one makes it harder. Here we have automatic serve or manual serve. You click the serve again. We have speed of the ball, which fast, low. I normally use low because I'm a sucker at this game. And here we have the angle of the hockey puck. There's a game reset button here to reset all, you, all your data. And on the side, nothing much here. There's some more yellowed plastic. On the back, we have a DC 9 volt input, which is meant to be basically a 3.5 millimeter input, but I've mod modified it so I can plug in a normal connector, which I didn't have. Here we have the RF out, which is only video, as the sound comes to the back over here. And here we have a VHF selector for channel 0 or channel 1. In here it takes four, no, six C cell batteries, which hardly ever been used, but honestly, why would you want to use batteries with this thing? If they didn't give um, batteries with this thing or a, or a power brick, I'd be really pissed off if I got this for Christmas in the 70s. So that's about it here. And the TV I was using is this Dying 78 AWA Deep Image Color Television. I believe, yeah, it says from the 70s. As you can see, it's a bit yellowed, but you know, it works. It doesn't have an AV in. It has UHF, VHF, and 5A, because they were running out of channels back then. So yeah, it's a nice TV. The main thing I'm focusing on is this. And yeah, it's a good device, but if anyone that's looking for an old Pong console, I'd highly recommend not getting one of these. Dick Smith made some in the late 70s. I might show you that later, but yeah, this is a nice console. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, if you like things like this, you can grab your hand onto one, and if you do, write it in the comments so I can hear your story. So thanks for watching guys, hope I see you soon.